Well, first, Santa Clara is a really strong team, um, doubles and singles. But as you mentioned, our number one doubles team, Kyle Miller and Hugo um, Verdi Fortin, uh, they competed really well. They showed a lot of poise and uh, a lot of rapport with with each other on the court. So I think that that really was a good catalyst for them to to compete well in that match. Um, it's something that our other teams can hopefully emulate. So. Um, singles portion we, we hung in there in several of the matches but uh, again Santa Clara was was too good so I give them give them all the credit it's it's quite important because although uh, you know sometimes there are times where if you lose the doubles point that um, you can come back and win four singles matches it doesn't happen um, probably quite as often um, so even maybe more so than actually winning the doubles point is more the the energy um, the intensity the positive enthusiasm that the players um, have out there on the court and that's really the key I think to carrying um, carrying over into the singles and and if you can win the doubles point then that's kind of more of a bonus I think in the end but it's not um, no, it's not something in the end that you can really control because you know uh, your opponents have about fifty percent of the say in the match as well. Yeah, it's a really sh it's a it's the most challenging schedule that we've that we've had, and one of the things I'm emphasizing to our team is to is to focus more on you know refining the things that that we're doing well in the matches. And, and certainly to, to make progress with the things that we need to, to improve on and to do that during practice. You know, practice in between, the, obviously during the week, in between the, the matches which are predominantly on the weekends. And I think that's the best way to approach things because um, in the long run as the season goes on, um, our team will excel more and more. I think the danger is to um, fixate on the results and the, and the rankings because um, even if you even if you win, the reality is that when when we approach our tennis that way, um, all we're doing is is adding on to ourselves, putting on ourselves more stress and anxiety. So even if we do win, um, you know the question is is that is it, is it worth it? And my opinion is it's not worth that. It's not worth it. Um, and especially if if you can in the in the long run excel more by having the proper attitude, then then. Um, it seems like that's an easy answer in terms of the, the correct approach to take. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, um, this week with practice, you know, starting up again after the um, after the weekend to concentrate um, more so on the doubles and to refine some of the things that we can do better, um, and then certainly the singles portion as well in terms of learning from learning from the things that we need to need to work on. Um, I think we also did some good things in that Santa Clara match in terms of, uh, you know, our, our effort and, and fighting hard and hanging in there in several of the matches. But um, I think that's that still there are certain things, certain, you know, as well in the singles that we can um, do better with. So uh, that's kind of the, you know, that's kind of the I think the, the summary of that. Well. Um, Probably more just to, to concentrate more on the first one with the match against Sonoma State, and, and Sonoma State's always been a um, um, you know a strong opponent for us because um, they're really really eager to, to 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 beat us, and so they come in here with nothing to lose, and and they've they've always done well with the doubles. I really give them credit for their doubles play. They're very aggressive, and uh, they move forward well. So. Um, we certainly need to, to respond to that and to take the initiative against them and going into the singles portion um, on Sunday. So that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it.